Hi guys, I'm going to be discussing uh, Rocket Lawyer. I have their terms and conditions up and uh, I read through all of them. And one of the biggest things with Rocket Lawyer, Rocket Lawyer is different than LegalZoom. Um, in Rocket Lawyer, they just, I think, only have documents. So you go through, you sign up, um, for your membership, for business memberships, it's thirty, thirty-five dollars, kind of about the same as Legal Zoom um, per month. Uh, but with this, you just really get documents. They are not a lawyer referral service. Um, they, it doesn't seem like you can even talk to a lawyer. So you kind of have to know what you're doing at the beginning. I have people who come in with partnership agreements when they're trying to make an LLC. Um, and things like that, buy-sell agreements that aren't applicable, or documents from outside jurisdictions that aren't applicable. Um, and so I, I am not really a fan of these sites uh, just because um, they're kind of scary. You have to take each document on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, looking through the terms and conditions, uh, the biggest part is you cannot sue Rocket Lawyer. You're, you're shocked, right? Um, but, you, I mean, you can do arbitration with them, but it's binding arbitration on any claim whatsoever. It's arbitration. Additionally, um, you can't sue as a class action. They all have to be individual suits, right? So, uh, kind of how I read that, and please comment on it or send me a message on YouTube. But... What could happen here is they have a document that's pretty basic and you know it's about let's say it causes two thousand dollars worth of damage every time someone uses it all right and that's just kind of on average so uh, two thousand um, dollars that either somebody uses it or maybe it's five dollars a person who uses it because so many people use it Every time there's a problem, it's a $2,000 problem. So what they're saying is, everybody who got that document, you all can't go to court together, get $10 million from Rocket Lawyer, and then distribute that $10 million over the 2,000 people who have bought that document um, and spread all that wealth individually. Um, instead, you have to su uh, uh, submit to this binding arbitration, um, and that's going to cost whatever. And you guys will meet in some forum or via the phone even, uh, depending on the amount of your claim. And then the arbitrator issues a decision that is binding. Uh, they didn't put any of the arbitration rules in their terms and conditions, but instead have a link to their arbitrator's website. Um, so I can't tell you exactly how arbitration would go down with them, but uh, they don't allow class action lawsuits. You have to sue on your individual capacity. So let's say you lost 500 bucks because of some contract that they used. You know, are you really going to submit a claim to them in San Francisco, contact them, write out this complaint, mail it to them, they submit it to their arbitration panel within, you know, 60 days, let's say. Uh, then they contact you on a place to meet. So you're in NorCal, so they want to meet halfway between San Fran and NorCal. Uh, you guys drive to that location. You meet for two hours with the arbitrator. And the arbitrator has you guys settle the matter, you know, um, let's say in your favor for 500 bucks. Well, maybe it took you $200 to get there um, and, you know, 15 hours of your time. Is it going to be worth it? No. But with a class action, it can be worth it because you can define a class, a whole bunch of you uh, who lost 500 bucks and then sue them. But they don't allow for it uh, in the terms and conditions. So that's one thing with Rocket Lawyer. So that's my review of Rocket Lawyer. I'm sure they have some great documents. Um, maybe I'll become an affiliate of theirs. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, that's my review.